So which aircraft is the most spacious cockpit? The Airpass A350 or the Boeing 787? Let's check it out. Welcome, welcome. So after a YouTube Shorts video that I posted on the Boeing 787 versus Airbus A350 cockpit designs, someone asked me which aircraft cockpit is more spacious. So well, I thought, why not find out? So let's check it out. So let's start with the Airbus A350, the flagship of Airbus. I know there's a lot of brains that go into cockpit designs, but today we're just going to have a quick glance of both cockpits and we see which one we think is more spacious. So the Airbus A350 XWB extra wide body is an advantage over the Boeing 787. It is wider by design. From the fourth occupancy, as you move right across the cockpit, we see those big cockpit windows bringing in more light, those big ultra modern instrument panels. This is the third occupant seat and we see there's also some leg room between it and the pedestal. The A350 cockpit is beautifully crafted and is quite spacious as well. So let's move to the back of the cockpit where we see the onboard maintenance terminal for maintenance stuff and behind it we've got a quad storage where the crew keep their jackets and everything else. So we'll come back later for measurements but for now that's it for the Airbus A350 cockpit. Let's go to the Boeing 787. This is Boeing's most modern airliner in the sky currently. So as you can look at it, it's quite similar to the Airbus A350 in terms of design and arrangement. We can see those big cockpit windows, those large instrument display panels, those beautiful cockpit seats as well. It is a modern aircraft and uh, basically we'll just move the cockpit seat forward to see if we can squeeze in a bit more space. But from just a glance, you can see the cockpit is smaller compared to the Airbus A350. I'm going to do a bit of some measurements later on. But but for now, let's just enjoy the view. So the area that I'm interested in is the area behind the captain's seat and the area between the third observer and the printer, or basically the cockpit pedestal. Yeah. The space between the first officer and the fourth occupant seat is a bit tight compared to the Airbus A350, which is a minus for the 787. But generally, the cockpit is quite spacious and uh, quite modern. But compared to the A350, we'll see. So now let's go for measurements. So now we are back on the Airbus A350 for measurement. So we measure the length of the space between the captain seats when it's fully retracted and the door. So for the A350, that length was 54 inches. So I'll explain later why I am paying particular attention to these areas. Now let's look at the space between the uh, third occupant seat and the center pedestal. For the A350, we measured 15 inches of space between that so now we go back to the 787 and find out how the numbers add up so for the 787 we measured the space uh, between the seat and the door it was at 50 inches for the 787 it was for 50 it, it measured at 50 inches because I, I measured not only from the start of the carpet but from the, the edge of the door exactly so it is 50 inches so now let's look at the space between the first to between the third occupant seat and the center pedestal for the 787 it measured to 13.5 inches so why these two areas one may ask so the space between the captain seat and the cockpit door i would like to call it the foyer of the cockpit that's the welcome area of the cockpit that's where crew take off their jackets and everything else and that's the area where you've got more room to maneuver so if you have to do anything in the cockpit that requires you to stand you are most likely to go to that space then my second metric, that is the space between the third occupant seat and the center pedestal. I, I, I chose this one because the third occupant is the only crew member in the cockpit that cannot stretch their leg physically because of their cockpit design limitation. And also 50 to 75% of the crew in the cockpit use that space to maneuver in and out of the cockpit depending on aircraft type. In conclusion, while I love both aircraft, the A350 wins at the end of the day in terms of space. Let me know your thoughts, like and subscribe.